How's it going, lads? Marshall here. Welcome back to another review on the channel. Hope you guys are having a cracking Saturday. I think it's Saturday anyways. But today we're going to do the review of Jude Bellingham, which tonight, it's France versus England, England versus France. The nerves are already there, boys. I'm already nervous. It's ridiculous. And um, if England are to come away with anything, you can be rest assured Jude Bellingham will be at the heart of that. So we're going to review Jude Bellingham today, see what he's like on FIFA. If you guys enjoy, please leave a like, please leave a comment, um, and subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here. I love doing reviews and uh, sharing my opinions on the cards with you guys as well. Uh, other players, Lautaro Martinez, etc. Scored the winning penalty for Argentina last night. We'll be reviewing the channel as well, so rest assured that those are coming. As for Jude Bellingham, six foot one, high high work rates, four star skills, four star weak foots, his stats are quite nice, right? You look at his stats, they're, they're very kind of well-rounded. Obviously, you look like certain areas and think, mm, bit meh, bit meh there. So you look at like long shots and think 81, that's not the greatest. Penalties, free kicks, who cares to be honest about those? The curve is probably the lowest stat that matters, uh, 74. So like for, for through balls to like bend it around defenses, he's not really going to be kind of capable of doing that, to be honest. Uh, chem style. I used Hawk. I thought Hawk was a very good balance to enhance pretty much what he already has and make him better in the role that he's in. Because you've got to imagine, right? High, high work rates. He's a box-to-box -box midfielder. Where is he Where's he going to go on the pitch? What areas is he going to get into? He's going to get into the box on the odd occasion. He's going to get defensive on the odd occasion. So why not boost his physicality, even though it's already high, his shooting and his pace to be able to cape with, uh, cape? Cope with the demands of uh, the kind of role that he's in. Finishing, not too bad, 84, given the position that he is. Dribble looks utterly insane, right? What I will say there is his ball control is very good, but if you start running with Jude Bellingham, the stride of this man... The ball gets away from him very, very easily. As for the player traits, he's got leadership. That's literally a dozen tackles. And uh, technical dribble are CPU AI traits. With that being said, let's have a look at the gameplay. So into the gameplay we go. You're going to see a bit of pretty much everything from Jude Bellingham in this review. From interceptions, case in point, to tackles, to shots, to assist. You're going to see pretty much everything that has to offer in that role. Including the one twos. He's very good at the given goals in this role. Whether it's like... These kind of areas where I'd pass, and then for instance, I'd go back with Bruno Gomares and then pass it into Jude Bell. This is actually good passing play until we got to that moment. Jude actually did win it back. Um, what happens here? Do I go for the power strike? I can't remember what. Oh, we're there. I think I score here. I hit the bloody post, boys. Anyways, pros box to box abilities. This card is the definition of a box to box on FIFA. Um, you could have him as a CDM, stay back while attacking, which I've got to say, I actually did have that. Um, but he's naturally going to get forward anyways. And if you do want him to get forward from that role, and you want him to kind of forcefully get him forward from the CDM role, if you're rocking like a 4 2 3 one, which I actually wasn't. I was rocking him in a CM role, boys. I'm trying to remember the formation I was using. I think it was 4 3 3 brackets 4. So he is playing central midfield. Uh, but I've got to stay back while attacking on him in that role. So... He will venture forward, basically, is what I'm trying to say, even from that role. If you do have the instructions, stay back while attacking on him. And like I said, if you want to force him to get him forward, do the one-twos. He's very good at doing it. The give and goes are pretty much his forte. You've seen it right now. It's so easy, and it comes natural to the guy. That's a nice little finish at the end of the one-twos right there. Nice little finish by Jude Bellingham, putting it into the back of the net. He's finishing his 84, and he's composed his 85. You get him into those kind of areas, he will score. Long shots... I mean, I did have quite a few long shots with Bellingham. Good block there on the strike. But they weren't really going anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Even the power strikes had power on it. Didn't really have the accuracy on it, to be honest. As Jude Bellingham gets the ball. By the way, his passing's phenomenal at times. He's not going to get that kind of curve that maybe a lot of playmakers on this game do have or possess to bend it in behind defences, whether there's a player in front of him or not. Uh, because if there is a player, like an opposition player in front of him, they'll just curve it around them, right? Jude Bellum's more of like, it's like a Roman Rhodes. You know with Roman Rhodes back in the Roman days? I wasn't alive, but maybe one of you guys were. They built all their roads straight, in straight lines. 
That's basically how Jude Bellum sees passes on this game. By the way, what an over that's on for him, all that is. Um, very, very nice. And I, I do mess this up. I go concede. And the guy makes it 3-1, unfortunately. But uh, Jude Bellum, it was a joy in the midfield. Very good player. Uh, I expected a bit more from him. I'm not going to lie. I kind of walked away from using Jude Bellum thinking, I expected a lot more from the cards. I expected more of a presence in midfield. Uh, I expected more... Ability to be honest. Uh, I was kind of disappointed by the card. You think of like cards, right? It's like, oh, this guy's gonna be a star player. This guy's gonna be a starting eleven player. This guy's gonna be in and around the squad on the bench. And this guy just doesn't make any team whatsoever ever. And with Jude Bellingham, I was thinking, he's gonna be a star. You put him in the team, he's gonna be the main man, he's gonna be the standout. He just wasn't. He was like a bit part player, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I definitely get him to put him in his starting eleven. But I thought he was kind of underwhelming. We do get a chance here. By the way, this is very nice. The drag back to the pass. Tap in. Easy as you like from Jude Bellingham. Uh, well, pop in, but a uh, very good player from Jude Bellingham. Anyways, the pros He's got box to box, ball control, and the tackling. It's always there. And I thought it was brilliant as he does finish yet again. That's on his weak foot, by the way, the left foot. But it's four star, four star. It does not matter. But um, we'll see. Zero cons. That's not to say he's flawless. I expected a lot more from this card. And like I said, came away slightly disappointed. Summary time. Hey, by the way, the word phenom is still not sticking with me, by the way. World Cup phenoms. Ah, I do like phenoms. Uh, the, the name, it just sounds cool. But it doesn't it doesn't look right on my eyes. I don't know why. Every time I go to spell phenoms, I, I kind of look at it and think, is that right? I don't know, sometimes it happens. Happens with worlds. The World Cup's been on that long. I'm typing world, and I think I've, I've mixed the R and the L round the wrong way. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, five games played with Jude Bellingham, and uh, he got two goals, one assist, did well in the role that he was in. But like I said, I expected a lot, lot more from this card. I thought it was going to be in, in the rating region of like a 9.7, 9.8. And as you guys can see, he's got a 9 for myself. Uh, he's a very, very good player. But I thought he would be a very, 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 very good player. Um, I just thought he would be unstoppable. But I didn't think he was even a standout midfield. I thought he brought nearly the same as Bruno Gamares, to be honest, in the role that he was given. Um, and I've seen a lot better in recent, recent days. Patrick Vieira, when I reviewed that Patrick Vieira, he was loads better than Bellingham. And that was a surprise for me. Uh, because I thought this Bellingham, with his stats, with his layout of his attributes, I thought he'd be, like, utterly insane. He is very good. He's just not utterly insane. All positions is a weird one because uh, centre mids, main position. He's all positions left midfielder, which uh, it's a strange one, that, isn't it? But uh, if you want to mess around with your squad building, get him in left midfield if you want to do that. But it actually does that because, for instance, say if you want, like, uh, to rock, like, a narrow formation or a three-man midfield, but you want to start maybe like two centre mids um, and you want your right wing to join the attack or something like that, or your right midfielder, what you could do is start building left midfielder, have two fellow centre midfields and, and centre mids, an attacking-minded right-sided player and two strikers that you want to play in your attacking roles. And then in-game, rock three centre mids, Bellingham being one of them. So it does add to the squad building capabilities with this card. I think it's very, very nice. Passing seven, shooting seven, and he's getting an eighth for physicality and dribbling. But bear in mind with his dribbling, don't try and sprint. It gets away from the card very, very easily. In a way I could compare to the similar player today, which is Yaya Toure. Sometimes with Yaya Toure, his strides on the ball, it gets the ball a little bit too far in front of him, where it's kind of easy to for someone to come in and just like intercept the ball on mid strides which is not exactly what you're looking for. As for the overall rating, 9.0, like I did mention. I expected a lot better from the card. The value for coins at the 835 mark, which he currently is. I had mine listed, I don't think he sold. He didn't sell at 830. He might have dropped, boys. He might have dropped just a little bit. But personally, there's a lot of midfielders that role that do pretty much the exact same job, if not a little bit more that would be a lot cheaper. So 7.3 is what he's getting. And the enjoyments, 8.0. He didn't do anything like exhilarating. You know what a word that is, by the way. Didn't do anything like that. But that's just going to be for the review of Jude Bellingham. If you guys did enjoy, like, comment, subscribe, and share your thoughts amongst the comments. 
I'm slowly getting a lot better. You, you can probably tell by my voice. And I'm feeling a lot better as well. We'll get back to normal very, very soon. This was another review, and I hope you guys enjoyed it.